hello students so once again we are back for class 12th vistas very important chapter we are doing that is on the face of it and today we are doing fourth video concluding video of a very important aspect of life where sometime people become very very negative and it is sometime very difficult for them or for you know difficult for other people to bring them into positivity so we are now starting at page number 64 we have already read in the previous video that dairy doesn't feel that friends are those who just meet for once he feels that when we have you know some personal talks or some secrets to share then only we can be called friends but lam has some other definition okay he says if now we will start here only page number 64 now he says that if we meet people and we talk in a very loving way it means we are friends and now page number 64 mr lam says you say that you cannot be called you cannot be taken as my friend okay but then he says doesn't mean they are enemies either does it he says if people do not share secrets but do not fight with each other they are talking very lovingly they meet in a very respectful ma manner do you think they should be called enemies dairy no they are just nothing people that's all he says no they cannot be called enemies but because they are not sharing their secrets so they cannot be taken as friends also they are just people now important line mr lam he says people are never just nothing never he says no never take people as nothing people can be taken either as friends or enemies so enemies are those who do something wrong to you but if people do not do anything wrong to you it means they all are friends dairy there are some people i hate now dairy suddenly says but still i must say that there are few people i really hate mr lam that's do you more harm than any bottle of acid acid only burns your face now this is important very very important he says no if you hate people it means you have poison in sight and this hate in your heart will you know spread the poison in your whole body in your whole inside if we talk about acid acid has just you know spoiled your face one part of the face where the acid fell down but this hatred for somebody will spoil your whole personality dairy only now actually he said that this acid has only burned your face and dairy is only for you this is only i think for me my one side of face gone means everything is gone mr lam like a bomb only blew up my leg there's worse things can happen you can burn yourself away inside lam say yes for me this is only even for my leg also i says it's only one accident that i lost one of my legs mm -hmm. otherwise i'm hale and hearty dairy after i had come home one person said he would have been better off stopping in there in the hospital he would be better off with others like himself she thinks blind people only ought to be with other blind people and idiots idiot boys with idiot boys now he says you know when i came back from hospital when i was discharged from hospital then i heard some friends maybe of uh, his mother talking that why he is back home he should have remained there only with other you know people burnt cases this is what they think that blind should be with blind lame should be with lame idiot with idiot okay means those who have some problem in the brain mr lam and people with no legs altogether and then he says okay according to that even lam should be with you know lame people should be with lame only dairy that's right mr lam what kind of a world would that be then he says okay then imagine what kind of world it would be means in one corner all the blinds other corner all the lame other corner all the deaf so he says just imagine what kind of world it would be dairy at least there would be nobody to stare at you because you wouldn't like them 
but Derry sees again one positive thing. He says whatever it is, but I think one good thing would be that way at least people would not be laughing at others because all the blind will be together. So naturally no one will be laughing at other blind. So maybe all the bond cases together means nobody is looking at, you know, one particular face. Mr. Lamb, so you think you are just the same as all the other people with burnt faces just by what you look like? Oh, everything is different. Everything is same, but everything is different itself. Now he says, so you mean to say that if you are with all the other burnt cases, you'll be like them? Even if they all are half face burnt, even then, you cannot say that you are same. Because everybody has his own personality, his own individuality. So this is what he is trying to now tell. Derry, how do you make all that out? Now he says, Derry is now trying to ask us, what this philosophy, from where you get? Okay, you, you learn all these things. Mr. Lamb, watching, listening, thinking. Lamb, uh, Derry, I would like a place like this, a garden. I would like a house with no curtains. Now suddenly, Derry is now becoming positive. Now he says, I also want to live in this kind of house, in this kind of garden, with open beauty, natural beauty, with the house, with no curtains, no limitations. Derry, Mr. Lamb, the gate is always open. Lamb says, okay, if you love this house, the gate is always open. You can come at any time. Derry, but this isn't mine. Lamb, everything is your, yours if you want it. What's mine is anybody's. Derry, so I could come here again. Even if you were out, I could come here. Now, Derry, somewhere, he is now showing this signs of positivity. He says, really, I can come, it means at any time, whenever I want. Even if you are not here, means no need to take permission. Certainly, you might find others here, of course. Lamb says, yes, you can come here at any time. And maybe you would find other people also, because my gate is open to all. Derry, oh, now he becomes sad. That it means others would be there. No, then I won't come. Mr. Lamb, well, that need not stop you. You need not mind. But Lamb understood. He says, so what if others are there? Even then, you are most welcome. You can come over here. Okay, you should not stop yourself if others are there. Well, okay, Daddy, I would stop them. They would mind me. He says, it's not that I would stop. But I know if I come over here, they would stop coming to this place where a boy with burnt face comes. Okay. They would mind my presence over here. When they saw me here, they look at my face and run. He says, I know. When they get to know that I am here, they would run away. They would not love to be here, like to be here. Mr. Lamb, they might. They might not. You have had to. You would have to take the risk. So would they. He says, the chances are 50-50. It's only your imagination that you think that people would run away. You try to come when people are here. You also see whether they run away or not. Even they are to also take this risk that if they sit along with bond face, whether something would happen to them also or not. Derry, no, you would. You might have me and lose all other friends. He said, no, others would not take risk. Only you will be taking risk that you are talking to me. Okay, and still you find that nothing is happening to you. Your face is not going to be burnt because of talking to me. But others don't want to take this risk. But I know, if I come over here, you will lose other friends. Because nobody wants to stay near me, if they can help it. Mr. Lamb, I have not moved. Now he says, but I don't think that I have moved because nothing has happened to me. Okay, and moreover he says, and these things are not affecting me also. I don't agree with you at all. No, Mr. Lamb. When I go down the street, the kids shout, Lamy Lamb, but they still come into the garden. Now he says, yes, I don't think that I, uh, people should be afraid of you or even you should mind this thing. Because when I go out, because of my, you know, this artificial leg, the children, they have given me this name, uh, this Lamy Lamb, but I don't mind. Okay, and I don't even break friendship with them. They still come to my garden into my house. It's a game. They are afraid of me. They are not afraid of me. Why should they be? Because I am not afraid of them. That's why not. Now he says, the same thing happens with me. People shout at me. They call me. They, they have given this name. But even then I don't feel bad. 
and they also don't call this name you know with some other meaning it, this is just a game for them daddy did you get your leg blown off in the war now suddenly daddy asked this thing I means where you lost this leg is it in a war certainly how will you climb on a ladder and get the crab apples down there then daddy said okay you have this artificial leg and you were telling me that in the evening you would you know pluck some apples how would you climb the ladder daddy okay oh there there's a lot of things i have learned to do and plenty of time for it years i take it steady lamb says no i have learned so many things which you feel is not possible no it has taken few years but now i am accustomed to do all these things with my artificial leg also daddy if you fell and broke your neck you could lie on the grass and die if you were on your own now daddy suddenly suddenly he has developed a kind of love affection for this man he says no if you climb the ladder and if you fall down there is nobody to help you you may die okay if you are doing everything all alone mr lamb i could he says yes this is possible that i may fall down i may die okay that doesn't mean that i should stop doing the work i could dairy you said i could help you and dairy suddenly said okay you were telling that in the evening even i can also help you okay if you want to mr lamb say yes you can come dairy but my mother will want to know where i am it's 3 miles home across the fields i am 14 but still they want to know where i am but dairy says but i don't think my mother would allow me to come over here because she would like to know where i am going in the evening no i am a big boy of 14 even then she you know wants to know where i am going mr lamb people worry mr lamb says don't worry don't feel bad because people worry that's why they want to know where you are but dairy is a young boy he says no this is not worry this is people fuss unnecessarily they create fuss okay and i don't like it mr lamb go back and tell them mr lamb says okay you can go back tell your mother that you are coming here dairy it's 3 miles mr lamb it's a fine evening you have got legs dairy once i got home they would never let me come back mr lamb once you got home you would never let yourself come back actually now here we can say lamb has seen that yes dairy is becoming positive and he wants that it should not stop here that's why he's now deliberately he's instigating him instigating to such extent that dairy comes back in the evening and he gets you know more time to interact with mr lamb and mr lamb is of this view that maybe then he will be positive positively out of that negativity so that's why he instigates him he says you have got legs you are healthy alex you can come back but maybe you don't want to come that's why you are taking your mother's name mr dairy you don't know you don't know what i could do mr lamb no only you could you know that dairy if i chose mr lamb ah uh, if you chose i don't know everything why i can't tell you what to do now he says okay i don't know what you can do what you chose maybe you don't want to come and that's why now you are taking your mother's name you say this is theme it's over it if you really interested you can come in the evening and help me daddy they tell me mr lamb do you have to agree now he says that people tell me so many things okay do you think that you are to agree with each and everything okay whatever you want to do you do daddy i don't know what i want i want something no one else has got or ever will have something just mine like this garden i don't know what it is mr lamb you could find out how waiting watching listening sitting here and going there i will have to see to the bees and suddenly he says okay i'm going i will i am to see my bees daddy those other people who come over here do they talk to you ask you things mr lamb some do some don't i ask them i like to learn daddy you don't believe in them i don't think anybody ever comes you are here all by yourself and miserable and no one would know if you were alive or dead and nobody cares mr lamb you think what you please actually now he was trying to instigate in a very positive way that this boy should come back in the evening but this boy is so young that he gets angry he says you say that i can't come back it is 3 miles and i have got legs even then i am making maybe excuses and that's why he he shows anger he says i don't think that you have you know many friends if people come over here where are the friends 
you are a miserable person. So this is what he says. And that's why Mr. Lamb says, you think what you please. He says, you can think whatever you want to think. But I am going to my peace. Daddy, all right then, tell me some of their names. Mr. Lamb, what are the names? Tom, Dick, Harry, getting up. I am off down to the beach. Now, Mr. Lamb says, I don't care about the names. I don't know the names of those people who come over here. But I know they all are my friends. And then he goes to the beach. Daddy, I think they are daft crazy. You are daft crazy. Mr. Lamb, that's a good excuse. Good excuse means for not coming. What for? You don't talk sense. Good excuse not to come back. Now he says, okay, you don't want to come back to help me. And that's why you say I'm crazy. Okay. And you have got a burnt up face and that's what other people's excuse. He says, now you say I'm crazy. That's why you don't want to come. Okay. Maybe the same way people also, they think that you have got this burnt face. That's why they don't want to talk to you. It means everybody is same. Daddy, you are like the others. You like to say things like that. If you don't feel sorry for my face, you are frightened of me. And if you are not frightened, you think I am ugly as a devil. I am a devil, don't you? Then he says, okay, you are talking about my face. It means you also think that I am frightening. I am ugly looking. I am devil looking. Derry. Mr. Lamb does not reply. He has to go to his peace. Mr. Lamb doesn't reply. Derry, he keeps shouting. No, you don't. I like it here. Then Derry suddenly says, but still I like it here. Actually, this is what Lamb wanted. That Daddy should say with that determination that I will be again here. And this is what he says. I like it here. Pause. Daddy gets up and shouts. I'm going. But I will come back. You see. You wait. I can run. I haven't got a ten leg. I will be back. Daddy runs off. Silence. The sound of the garden again. So he, Daddy goes away to come back again in the evening. Now Lamb is left all alone. And from this small para, we get to know that Lamb is also a very lonely person. But the only difference is that he is very positive also. He doesn't take this loneliness as you know his weakness. He doesn't make this loneliness his weakness. Now he is left alone. He is talking to himself. Dear my dears, that's you seen too. Ah, you know, we all know. I will come back. They never do. So this is the proof that he is lonely when he says yes. All these people who once come to my garden, they say they will come back. But after talking to me, they don't come back. They never come back. Not them. Never do come back. The garden noises fade. Now scene two. Daddy's house. Now daddy has gone home. He wants to come back in the evening. He is talking to his mother, taking permission. But mother is reluctant. Mother, you think I don't know about him? You think I haven't heard things? Daddy. You shouldn't believe all you hear. Mother, being told, warned. But actually mother says, no, I don't, I, I can't allow you to go to that person again. Because I have heard a lot of things about him. And Daddy says, how can you say that you have heard? I now, I have met that person. I know that he is not a bad person. And mother says, it's not only that I have heard. People have warned me. They have told me not to let you to go to that house. Warned. We have not lived here three months, but I know what there is to know. And you are not to go back there, Derry. What are you afraid of? What do you think he is? An old man with a till leg and he lives in a huge house without curtains and has a garden. And I want to be there. Actually, why people talk about Mr. Lamb? Because they all feel that he is a very strange kind of person. Because first of all, he is a lame man artificial leg then very big house very big garden then he allows everybody to come so that's why people think that he is very suspicious person and that's why people don't want to you know come to his garden again and this is what mother wants now that daddy should not go over there but daddy says i want to be there and sit and listen to things listen and look mother listen to what daddy bees singing him talking mother and what he's got to say to you things that matter things nobody else has ever said things i want to think about now daddy is now trying to say that he is the only person who talks you know positive things he talks about positivity in life nobody else i have ever heard talking like this i want to listen to him i want to think what he says mother then you stay here and do your thinking you are best off here he says better you then stay here and do thinking over here only 
Daddy, I hate it here. Mother, you can't help the thing you say. I forgive you. It's bound to make you feel bad things and say them. I don't blame you. Now, because Daddy said, I hate it here. Mother said, I know that you are so negative because of your burnt face. So I don't blame you. I know that you are, you know, in a very miserable condition. And that's why you say these things that you hate your own house, Daddy. It's n n got nothing to do with my face and what I look like. Now, first time he says, no, I'm not right now. It has nothing to do with my burnt face. Means I don't care about my burnt face. I'm not talking about my burnt face. Only thing is, I want to be there. Now, I don't, you know, bother what I look like. I don't care about that and it isn't important. It's what I think and feel and what I want to see and find out and hear and I'm going back there. He says, now for me, most important thing is what I want to hear, what I think. I don't bother now how I look. Only to help him, he says, but so that's why I'm going there. Only to help him with the crab apples. Only to look at things and listen. But I'm going. Mother, you will stop here. Daddy, oh no, oh no. Because if I don't go there, go back there, I will never go go anywhere in this world again. Now, Daddy was also maybe, you know, feeling a change in him. So that's why he says, no, I want to listen more and think more. The door slams, Daddy runs, panting, and I want the world. I want it, I want it. The sounds of his panting fades. So the, he runs away for this Mr. Lamb. He says, now I want the whole world. I want to live my life. Now scene three. This is the garden now. Mr. Lamb's garden. Garden sounds. The noise of a branch shifting. Apples thumping down. The branch shifting again. Now in this garden, this uh, Mr. Lamb, he is already on the ladder and he has already started plucking down the apples. Now apples are falling down. And then he also falls down with the ladder. Mr. Lamb, steady. That's it. Got it. That's it. Move apples fall. And again, that's it. And. A creak, a crash, the ladder falls back. Mr. Lamb with it. A thump means very heavy sound. A branch swishes back, creaks, then silence. Daddy opens the garden gate, still panting. The moment he falls down, the ladder falls down and Mr. Lamb is also there on the ground. At that moment only, Daddy enters at the gate. And from there only, Daddy is now shouting, You see, you see, I came back. You said I wouldn't and they said, but I came back, I wanted. He stopped dead silence and now only he saw that Mr. Lamb is already fallen down. And that's why he's dead silent. And then he started shouting again, Mr. Lamb, Mr. You have. He runs through the grass, stops, kneels, Mr. Lamb, it's all right. You fell, I'm here, Mr. Lamb, it's all right. Silence. I came back, Lemmy Lamb, I did come back. Daddy begins to weep. So this last line, Daddy begins to weep, shows that Mr. Lamb is perhaps no more. Okay, you may get this question. That what is the ending? Do you think this Mr. Lamb dies? Yes. Okay, from here only we get to know that he is no more because de this Daddy, he begins to weep. So I hope this chapter is now fully clear to you. Very important, very philosophical chapter. That's why certainly certainly you will get question from this chapter so watch all the videos properly and try to have a mastery over this chapter thank you